Okay, boys and girls, we're here again. And, um, and today, what we're going to be talking about a little bit is uh, technology from 2005. Ancient technology. All this stuff was developed um, under the SATS, the Small Aircraft Transportation System. And Monroe and Associates was running something called MISATS, Michigan Small Aircraft Transportation Systems Lab. And one of the things that we helped develop with our partners was, um, was a heads-up display, um, which uh, also had night vision. Now, the heads-up display is something I'd like to see in a Tesla because I don't like looking over. I, I would like to have it as if I was in, a, if I, if I was in an F-18 or something, and it's right there on my windshield. And I think that we have the technologies now that can make that happen, so that at night, uh, if something is running across the road, I get a chance to see it before I hit it. In the aircraft that we developed, the, the uh, Paradigm aircraft, um, what we did was uh, we put the stuff in, and if you look here, this is the pilot's naked eye view. It, you can see there's a lot of white lights all over the place. It's very difficult to find out where you are or where you want to go. And the pilot, in this case, is looking for the airport. But with, uh, with night vision cameras, it's easy to spot because the noise, the, the, the light noise, you can get rid of that with your, with your night vision camera. And now I know exactly how to approach that airport and land. I believe that this is something that Tesla should be putting into their next generation vehicle. Actually, it could be a modification or a running change. You could still have the big, um, the big view board. But it'd be great if this would show up on my windshield, especially at night. So we talked a little bit about the, um, uh, about the heads-up displays and whatnot and night vision. And that's good stuff. But um, we also remember Elon saying that he was going to get rid of 700 meters of wire. And, um, and quite frankly, I was really excited about that because I know the way to make that happen. And I was hoping, basically, that he would do what everybody else tried to do. So let's have a look at what this door looks like when you uh, take it apart. Look at these wires. This one here is embedded right inside of this uh, subassembly. Here's another one over here. There's, these are communication wires. There's tons of them. If we take off this felt and move it over here and look down here on the, uh, on the module, remember we talked about those modules before, and now we're looking at all kinds of wires that we can see on this side, but there's wires on the other side as well. These wires may have uh, power, but mostly what they are is for communication. If you happen to use um, your voice actuation inside the uh, car and you say lock the doors or open the doors or something like that, uh, they, that's already in Tesla. And, and it'll take that, that, uh, that your voice actuation and it'll send a signal to one of these wires, and then your, your automatic door locks will pop open or closed, all these other little, little tricks that you can have. But what happens if we go to something else, okay? So I talked about the ancient times for that heads-up display and night vision. Let's talk about some other ancient technology. See this? This is an antenna. This is the antenna that's inside of a Tesla already. And it runs on Bluetooth. That's what that little chip in the center is for. What if I took this, and instead of having all these communication wires, this was embedded in here, and this gave the signal to roll up your windows, or lock your doors, or do anything else that I wanted inside the car. Instead of having communication, whoops, instead of having communication wires like this, we've got a little module like that that tells this to roll up the window or roll down the window. And again, you can use that using voice actuation, or even if you just press the button and, uh, and like you would normally do, this would be the signal um, receiver, and it would give the, the notice to the window regulator module or something else to move or do something. This technology, this technology was being looked at when I was at Ford Motor Company in 1985. We tried it out in several different, but it was too early. Now is the right time. So. In essence, there's two things here that from ancient times. Heads-up displays, which have been around for a long, a long, long time. Uh, night vision. <clears throat> and then moving from wires and going to, uh, 
multiplexing. So anyway, thanks very much uh, for watching. Make sure we're still tipping those cashiers out there. Have yourself a great day and tune in for more, uh, Monroe, more of Monroe Live. Thanks a lot. Bye.